in fact, material testing reactors are all, have been of key importance for nuclear industry and to address some uh, fundamental questions regarding fuel and material uh, uh, qualification. And these machines are of uh, good support to develop new products to enhance uh, competitivity and safety of uh, power plants, both for existing fleet and for new power plants. We are on the way to uh, start being critical uh, by the second part of 2019 and uh, in industrial operation by the end of this decade. There is not that much research reactors which are uh, under construction worldwide. And this uh, Jurovitz project uh, is, uh, is planned to be an international uh, reference platform in the, in the domain of material testing. And this is why we have set up an international consortium which gathers 12 partners and countries to which fund and steer this project. Right behind me, you got the auxiliary units with uh, the hot cells and the pond, and uh, that's 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 going on on track. After that, we will have the different uh, workshop, especially uh, electricity, ventilation, pipes, and so on and so on. In parallel of the construction, we are preparing the first experimental capacity, and uh, this is where we put also a lot of effort in, in terms of innovation uh, compared to the uh, existing uh, fleet today. Uh, I'm in charge also of uh, welcoming secondaries to create some uh, scientific network around these facilities. You have the chance to meet some amazing people who have um, some knowledge that, that they can share. Cadarache is one of the big CES centers in focus on the research on, uh, for, on, for nuclear industry. And uh, it's also close to a, a big hot laboratory. The Le Castor is located in the vicinity of the GHR reactor. It's a key partner of the GHR experimental programs. The Le Castor received the entire industrial road and cut the selected part to manufacture uh, the final test uh, rod to be tested. After irradiation in the GHR reactor, the fuel rod comes back to the Lecasta. It uh, is submitted to non-destructive examinations. Then it is cut in some samples to be submitted to destructive examinations. If we don't look at the fuel after this irradiation, we will, we will not have enough information. We need to uh, characterize the fuel and the microstructure of the fuel after irradiation. We have a unique combination of equipment uh, that allowing a characterization of fuels uh, from macroscopic scale to nanoscale. In fact, the Jurovis reactors will be a material testing reactors and it will be a reference uh, international platform on this domain for fuel and material uh, behavior qualification under high neutron flux and high stress. This will help uh, nuclear industry, uh, regulators, research institutes to enhance safety and competitivity of existing fleet but also of future nuclear power plants. Fuel assembly from GHR was kind of a prototype of the, of the fuels. We put seven of them in a dedicated configuration. One of them was completely uh, dismountable and it gave access to local power distribution into the plates that is unreachable, of course, in an actual reactor. So that's the, one of the main advantages of using um, zero power reactor. It's the it's versatility, versatility and uh, the possibility to, uh, to get from the measurements very precise um, quantity that is absolutely not measurable in an actual reactor. This, uh, this kind of machine is of primary importance to boost research and to, 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 to increase the, the safety and competitivity of power plants and also to, to create some challenge for young scientists to develop some new experiments which will enhance the, the knowledge uh, at, a, at a deeper level of the behavior of fuel and material under strong neutron irradiation flux.
The most exciting part is the really to, uh, to just to improve the physics, the knowledge of the physics associated with this kind of core, and also the instrumentation. One of the very important part is when you design um, a new core configuration, new experimental programs to have to work in parallel also to the um, to the development of adequate instrumentation that could be also, of course, used afterwards in the actual reactor. So we did that for the Amon program. We tested some new, uh, new innovative uh, detectors, just like a miniature fission chambers into the Minerva reactor. And then we used them in the Amon program to get access very locally to uh, uh, some quantities just like fission rates. In fact, uh, from the beginning, the Zhudorovitz reactor has been thinking as a European reactors and, may, uh, and more as an international platform. And, and this is why uh, these reactors with some ancillary facility from CEA, Kadarash and Saclay uh, will soon, middle of mid September, will be uh, designated uh, ICER by the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna. ICER means International Center Based on Research Reactors. The idea is to build an uh, international platform for the young scientists to, uh, to challenge and uh, design some uh, uh, new experiments uh, involving all the know-how from the existing reactors. So, in fact, we are not alone. It, it represents uh, a, a beginning of the community of the GHR uh, reactors. Mm -hmm.